And mine's blow up into a one-to-one -one pattern, so... Just in case I ever mess up and you get to see one explode. But we've already faced these in cross dimension, so there's nothing really to worry about. And we're finally getting some Nemo of some training, because we haven't done that yet. Like, at all. Which is kind of sad, but oh well. And we already moved all of them, so we can't get them to help us take it out. So we gotta waste the energy to do it. Ooh. Is our GPO one in range? Do they wanna nuke a innocent type 61 tank? I mean, like, we don't need support. <laughs> No. Oh. It's not really a nuke, it's more of a laser beam. Nuclear laser beams again, I guess. Oh, yeah, right, there's no animation for those. I was like, oh, we're going to see them head Vulcan. No. I don't want to waste all of the Nemo's juice just yet. Though we did unlock the ground Nemo recently, so that should be interesting. And we'll deploy the custom for the fun of it. Oh. Well, shit. And yeah, we already did everyone over here. Do you need... You're fine without supplies for now. Should we go exam system on a mine? We're not going exam system on a mine. I know it comes back after you retreat to the battleship and come back out, but it'd be kind of a waste, wouldn't it? I mean, like, it's a mine. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the roar. Imagine if we were still using GMs. We'd be in such better shape. How did you survive, damn it? Luckily, we have fire support, so we're good there. And I think we need level 3 to get you your next thing. Level 3? Yeah, level 3. Which is a remnant Saku cannon, because that's totally different from what we already have. Can we get these guys to proc some mines? We couldn't, but oh well. And yeah, you actually need more supplies. Because you're surprisingly low. Oh. Damn it, I wasn't expecting you to get hit. And our Dwadage was our team captain, so... We kinda can't take advantage of that this time. The shotgun, you can't reach. Well, what you can reach is this guy's Aku machine gun in it. And destroying it. My bad. 
Never mind, you can't reach. Miss Aragi. Well, you can reach it now, never mind. Worked out in the end. Oh. Alright, good to know stabbing a mine, not the most effective thing ever. I mean, like, I thought it would be. Yay, you already leveled up by taking up mines. And a Zaku tank. Or, uh, gun cannon. Gun tank. Oh well, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And mine spawn. Oh, and he got hit by that. Heat right of mine, totally gonna work out for ya. And as soon as we find out where the hell Sakaki is, we shall get that achievement. Or that kill or whatever we quest, whatever you want to call it. Can you? You can hit them. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move you up to here. You're going to GM rifle this guy. Yep, you're going to level up randomly. I don't know what that's about, but it happened. Alright, he's ready to become a ground Gundam whenever I feel like it. Which probably won't be till the end of this campaign. And then we'll probably switch him over to like a Nimbus custom or something, who knows. Actually, this is the Federation team, so never mind. Okay, that Nemo can't reach. Yeah, we're just gonna have him go in for the kill. I was gonna let... Uh, I wanted to team him in the Nemo... Or, not the Nemo, the custom up to get the kill, and then we could have them shoot at the gun tanks, but... Oh, well. You know, shit happens, yo. Can you reach? No, you cannot. Actually, you can't reach at all, so we're just going to ignore you then. We're going to have you guys move down. Oh, I was expecting a mine to proc. Oh, yeah, that's what we can do. Now, if we could use the map attack, it would work. Oh, well. I wonder if this game finally has limited to one nuclear bazooka per match. I doubt it, but that would make me happy. God damn it, Saku, dodge. I wasn't paying attention, that's gun tank. Don't worry, we'll literally take them out next turn. Oh no, the exam system ran out, what are we to do now? Let's see, nuclear bazooka. Then hopefully Sakaki will spawn. And, of course, a mine. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna move you here. You go take out the tank here. You're gonna somehow discover mine, because that makes sense. You're gonna do that. Plus, that also has the nice additive of allowing us to move up our base. You're actually as high as you need to be, so... You can go here. There's a Zaku machine gun on this. So we don't get any benefit for training him over three, so... I'm just gonna leave him there, I think. You're gonna move down, you're gonna... We'll finally get to see the chest Vulcan, because he's out of animo for the mo- or energy for the most part. Disappoint me. Like a lot. No, oh, and apparently there's an animation for that. That kind of poopy. Oh well. Yep. And then he procs a mine. Okay, I need two over. Yep. Oh. You can take out this one. It's like four degrees outside and my cats are locked up, so they're fighting all the time. Sorry if you guys can hear that. But like, I can't let them out. Then again, the series is just plagued with my cats fighting all the time, so. Should be fine, you should all be used to it by now. I won't find out if you guys can hear it till post, so I can't tell you. But we have a mass production big zom now. And is the cocky finally there? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so do I just get the achievement for free now? That guy just blew up. What? How did he do that? See, even the game acknowledges that it literally takes a shot. Also, I find it kind of funny that they're standing next to a big tray, or a mini tray. Just kind of ironic since we're fighting them. I don't know, we might actually be able to take out, like, the whole Federation offensive, to be honest. 
It's like they have what? Five GMs? We have nukes. Well, we have nuclear laser beams. They're kind of like nukes. Just in a more laser beam fashion. Okay, and is Sakaki here? Cause that's the important question. Oh, and look, gun tanks. Just what we needed. Grand GMs. I was reading that, right? Uh, okay. I, I, I guess we did get that for free. I don't specifically remember him doing it, but he did it. Alright, let's see you. Go here. Can you move all the way up? No. He's in the way. Which is fine. I think we're gonna go for a supply run with these guys. Then we'll go back towards the front. We'll wipe them pretty easily. Um, the only one I'm really worried about is that Gauf. What were we trying to turn you into? I don't remember. Mudrock? Or Madrock? That was Mudrock. Well, we'll check what 4 is, and then we'll determine which... Because we have the incomplete Mudrock, so... Even if, like, we don't get this one, we could get that one pretty easily. At least I think you can. I'm kind of curious about this. He has 81... You should have one more chance step after this, so it should be fine. Or change step, whatever you call it. Chance step, yeah, I was right. Yeah, he got 110 EXP for shooting a mine. I mean, like, to each their own, I guess, but that's just odd. How close are you to leveling up? Actually, the Nemo's closer. I was gonna have the GM get it so we could get the, or the GM custom get it so we could get the experience. But you know, if the Nemo can do it, might be able to trade the Nemo for something cool, like a Rick Diaz, or knowing this game like a Zaku. Yeah, so we're gonna dump that. Then yeah, we'll have the GM custom move in next time, then we can move up kill those guys. Um see, we've already had these guys mostly do their job, so what we'll do is we'll have you move up. You're gonna heat hawk up mine, because that's a good idea. You're gonna move up. Gonna melee this one, because that kills him. And you're gonna move over here, you're gonna shotgun. Oh, apparently the shotgun kills all the mines now. Which is good. And now we can get you a Nimbus, I think. Or can we get you the Noct? Or both, apparently. Question is, is which one do we want first? I'm pretty sure this is the Schneid, so. We also get the Gion. I think we'll go with the Nimbus. We have to do it after the battle, though. Yeah, that's all good. Um, you. We'll move you back next turn, so it'll be fine.
We're not on time limit anymore, so... Like, we're all good there. Though I gotta figure out who I want to kill the gun tanks with. I also think we want to capture one of the mass production gun tanks. Just so we could possibly combine some things with a gun tank. I don't think we need to since we have the Zaku Cannon. But, just in case, you know. Whoops. Should have gone through that too fast. And are we finally done with this mine business? I really hope we are. Oh, we can only target one of them. Yeah, we could take out one of the tanks, but it would have been kind of a waste. Oh, look, two more mines. Never mind. Alright, so my theory on this is we could take out the two mines... We could have, and then we could team up with the Dwadage. One to one explosion pattern, so we don't gotta worry about that. Mm hmm. So we move the Dwadage out. We have you shoot this one. We've got a support kill. We are going to kill all the mines because they're totally worth it, but it's annoying. That's about it. And I think their event spawned, not actually like that's where they are and they just appear kind of thing. Never mind. Semi-disappointing, but not the most disappointing thing I've ever heard. are going to move here. You're going to shotgun this one. Get support fire from this guy, I guess. Because now that was his last move. Oop. And I need to oil my chair again. Which is annoying because I did that last night. But hey, the effort leveled up again. Woo. Yep. They're all going to target him now that he's supercharged. But that's fine. You know, we'll have you take this one out. And yeah, that's your last chance, so we're gonna go back there for more ammo. Going to move you straight. Oh, actually, we're gonna move the custom in first, just in case. We're going to move you straight down. You're not going to attack because that's dumb. We're going to move you out. You're going to move to here. You're going to... You're actually going to move one up. Going to shoot this one in the back. Gonna have the Nemo move out. He's gonna shoot this one with some support. Need to remember, uh, need to remember to move what's his face back. The Gauf dude. And David Cage is now a space specialist. Gonna move you all the way back to here. We're gonna grab you, you're gonna move up. Gonna melee this guy with support from this, that guy. And then he misses, of course. Luckily the Blue Destiny could do it himself. Now I think he's supercharged as well. Actually it's a support attack, so yeah, he does get some tension for that. Hmm, who knew? 
I was under the impression it didn't work that way. Oh well. We'll have you move up. You'll get to go kill this guy to hopefully level up again. Which completely negates the advantage we just tried to move for, but oh well. We're gonna go nuke a mini tray so it doesn't matter. And yes, I'm going to abuse this nuke thing as long as I can. Up until I get bored of it and get a Gerbera or something. Wow. What were the chances that two people miss a Type 61? Like, that's just sad, yo. I guess we could nuke one of the gun tanks to try to get... Which... Completely derailing that thought, but getting cooperation with him is, like, real good. Yeah. Um, maybe we could... Nuke one of the gun tanks and try to get the, uh... Whatchamahoo's it? Um, try to get the Gerber Tetra or something right now. I mean, like, nuclear laser beams are a nice thing. Hey, we could always trade it in now. Which is a bonus for me, at least. Oh yeah, everything's level 3, so we'll probably end up doing that. Huh. No, not wasting the ammo. Or... Not wasting the time on that. I captured a gun chip for the fun of it. I didn't really need it, so... Now, why do we need two things I capture for the fun of it? And you can turn into... Full Armor 7th. I wouldn't think they would give us this, because the Full Armored 7th is a mobile armor, but they did. So I think we're going to go with that. And then that turns into the Moodrock and a couple of other things. That's cool. I like full armored Gundams. They're nice, usually. But it's a full-on, like, Stainum mobile armor kind of thing. It's really cool. Plus you get to do, like, a pseudo encounters in space stage. Which I had a lot of fun with. Though I was actually shit at it. And I kind of wish they were more in the game, but they weren't. Yeah, we're just leaving the extra people in the back. Awesome. It was either she wouldn't do enough damage, but she would have hurt it enough to where next turn we could have killed it with anyone, or she'd kill it. Works for me. More of getting it out of the way than needing the experience. Shit, son. Not so worried about that one. Let's see. Move you back. You need the energy. Move you back. You don't need the energy, but it's easier that way. You all the way forward. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. We actually want the kill with you, though, so... And by you, I meant the GPO.
I still find the eyes on... When they level up, they kind of show the eyes. I still find that creepy. The laser missile variation doesn't have a nuclear bazooka, but it does a shit ton of damage. It has a beam bazooka, too. Stainum and the Gerbera, which... I don't know if that's the GPO-4 or not. or Like, the legit GPO-4, not the, like, Gerbera. I doubt it, though. Um, which one do we want to capture? The right one or the left one? Yeah, we can ignore those folks. Or do we want to just kill them and I'll go capture one later? Slash, I'll turn the gun tank into one eventually. Um, you're at the level you need to be. You're at the level you need to be, which, yeah, the Dwadage Custom. It's the Dwadage Reform, not Custom, but whatever. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, we need we need experience with bold people, so, you know, fuck the rules. I mean, he leveled up anyway, so... And you have... Uh, uh, shit, I misclicked. God damn it, I was gonna use strike assist on him. Oh well. We'll take him out next turn, it's not like they're gonna run away. Okay, we have to kill everyone. We can't just kill Agar and end it. I was thinking about it, I'll be honest. That was entirely for the joy of kicking people. He only got to level three. Damn it, I was hoping for four. Oh well. And Meek got a level. Yay, we can get the red Rick Diaz. Thought that'd be the Galgook, but oh well. Also, I like red color instead of red. Literal translation would be red color, because red and red would be two different words in... are two different words in Japanese, but... You know, still... Oh. Um... Nah, I don't want to capture it. I thought about it again, but... Two... Well, yeah, uh, not you. We need you out there so we can chain attack. You're level 3 already, though, so we just need these two to take them out. No point in sharing the experience with anyone else. You know, the experience of murdering a hapless individual. He's already surrendered, so it's... You know, he's still an enemy. Yay, now everyone's level 2. Which we can turn you into... AGM Command. Who would have guessed? And you can turn into the Nemo 3. Sadly, there's no Nemo 2, but we'll live with it. Yeah, you're still, like, rearing to go, so that's fine. 
And we moved everyone over here. Or not. Forgot about that. I was thinking it'd only do like 3,000 damage, but oh well. Leveled up the wrong one, but oh well. Maybe we'll trade him for something cool. Because I don't mind not getting the remnants for a while. I know. We have like 20 life recoveries banked though, so it's fine. Like, we quite literally can repair it a ton. Have a cannon. Oh, and still intention down. Oh well. I don't care about you anymore. Let us see, let us see, let us see. Hmm, I don't know if he's be able to one hit kill them. We will do this though, just in case. Skills. Right, the other team's the one with all the life recovery. Whoops. Well. Done. And, yep. Schneid. Doug Schneid, apparently. Class is the camper. Uh, Dwadage. Move you out, get you a kill. Dwadage doesn't need a kill, but it got a kill. Uh. You. Get you a kill with the Dwadage. Because I don't think you can do quite enough damage to kill it. Yeah, just barely under. Or is that barely over? No, oh, barely over. Awesome. Well, you can go solo then. Weird that an anti -mid uh, an anti ship rifle would be able to take out tanks so easily. Wonder what that's about. Yep, now we can get the Zeong if we want, which we could go Kubele. Or we could save up for the Sazabi or the Hyakushiki. Which I know by my rules I should go either Rick Diaz or Zeong, but I might just save up for the Sazabi, I haven't decided yet. But we're gonna try to finish this quickly, because it's already longer than it need to be. Because we finished off the main part of the stage like a while ago. Um, and my neighbors are showering apparently, so I don't think you guys want to listen to that. Let's see, we'll go here. We'll go here. 
You actually have slightly too much health for, health for that, so we'll go you, support fire from you, and that. Um, let's see, move you up. Could group attack anyone significant. I was an extra penny on that killing, but oh well. Yay, big tray leveled up. I wasn't expecting that one that time. Um, let's see, you. Yeah, you're done close enough for entry to nuclear bazooka. Which is disappointing. We'll nuclear bazooka later, though, so it'll be fine. Oh, and I don't know if I've explained it yet, but the reason why I don't put up health, even though that sounds like a really good idea with how I play, is it's so little that it's, like, a waste of money, your points. Like, you get 100. Congratulations, you might be able to survive, like, a single shot. With some of the mobile armors, you get 1,000, which is totally worth it. But, like... A hundred, really? Yeah, we'll have you go here. You'll shoot at this one. I don't think the custom will be able to reach is the problem. But you'll kill it, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, you're in high vigor mode, that's why. Gotcha. Or, whatever the fuck, tension? Oh, well, you can go get another kill, because why not? Yeah, and next round will be some nuclear bazookas. And I believe you have a three attack radius? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna stay within our particle cover. So I like being able to dodge. It tends to make me happy. Damn it. Yeah, it's done. Awesome. Gonna get a three for. Yeah, I know. Come on. Who needs the under uh, who needs the XP more? You can just turn into a Yagan. I don't really care about that. Or you can turn into a half striker. Um the reason why I'm saying that is we have that one. Oh. I thought we had that one that increased by 30%, but oh well. Just in case. Yep. Instruction? I don't think we've gotten that one before, have we? Oh, that's useful. And you can go GM Cannon too, yeah. Alright, about what I figured. And you... Nero. Yeah, I totally forgot that was a thing. That's one of the Sentinel units. It's a 
Ewak, I believe. It's the Ewak Nero or something like that. It's based off of the mass production Zeta. Yeah, we're just gonna use the machine gun. I feel safer like that. I think we'll go with the Nero instead of the Jaegen. So while the Jaegen's cool, we're gonna get a ton of them later, so... Like, we can wait a little while and it should be fine. I don't want you to die. I totally forgot about these guys, though, so... I guess Zeon's getting the kill. And we can't pinpoint you, so we gotta go here. Gonna pinpoint attack. Never mind, Zeon's not getting the kill. I thought it would do just barely enough, but... You know, one hit kill is fine. I I guess nukes are good for something. Also, you notice at level 10 she got one and everything. Unless it's dependent on the level of the mobile suit you train them in, which I doubt it. That means that the custom characters also plateau real hard. Which, that's one of the reasons why I used to use the in the story characters is because they don't plateau that hard generally and like they start with oh shit all right we're back And hopefully the controller doesn't die real quick again. I have it plugged in though, so it should be fine. If, you know, Windows could figure out what a DS4 is, that would be nice. But we'll try to end this real quick. Visual noveling this shit again. But hey, we won! Woo! Got some money. The nuke was the most important. Followed by the gun cannon. Followed by the effort. Who would have guessed? We took out a lot of mines. And we got that guy, and we got those two. But anyway, folks, that was that. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. I will be back later.